Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Liverpool career mode. Now guys, before I jump into today's video, I just want to say a huge big thank you for the support on this series so far. Episode 1 and 2 has well and truly been blown out the water. The amount of comments where you guys let me know transfers you want me to go in for, who to sell, who to buy, who to loan, the amount of likes on the videos, the amount of views, it has just been absolutely insane. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate it, the fact that you guys are supporting me and showing me so much love so thank you for that and also i just want to say earlier today we did hit 60 subscribers so thank you so much if you've subscribed in the last couple of days it really does mean a lot to me it means the world to me the fact that you guys are giving me a chance you want to support me you're going to enjoy my content and i have been speaking to a few new subscribers recently and they're saying you know come and check out brad he does really good content he deserves to be noticed thank you so much for that guys i really 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 do appreciate you guys don't have to do that but you do and you support me and that is what i love about you guys so if you are on you drop a comment down below whether you just want to introduce yourself and say hello to me whether you want to introduce yourself to the rest of the crew or whether it's simply to let me know a transfer of someone you want me to maybe buy or someone want me to loan or sell whatever like that guys i'm always down in the comment section every day i'm checking out to see if you guys have commented and i'm always replying but nevertheless guys in today's episode we are against a team that i have never heard of if i'm completely honest deportivo cali I'm pretty sure they're probably a low league team. They don't ring a bell to be a huge, amazing team in the top league that are coming in the top five all the time. But I've never heard of them. But fingers crossed today we can manage to get the three points and start moving up that table. Because if we can bag the three points today and move on to the next game and hopefully bag the three points then, we could possibly be first or second and hopefully go through to the knockout stages. But yeah, I just want to say again, guys, a huge big thank you for the support. And if you do enjoy today's episode, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Make sure to drop your comments down below. If you are new around here, click that subscribe button to stay up to date with this awesome content. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and your family, guys. But also, just a quick update on the My Player Career Mode, guys. Unfortunately, it's been a little bit delayed. And that's simply because I'm currently at the moment trying to use the EA Game Face, which is where you take a picture from the front and you take it from the side and you put it onto a career or you put it onto a character, sorry, to put into your career. Now the problem is, is when I save it, it doesn't want to process it how it looks. So I'm having a few issues, but I'm, I've emailed someone at EA, and hopefully that should be sorted soon. And as soon as that's sorted, it should be up. Now this is going up Monday night. I have planned to do my career tomorrow. So if it doesn't go up tomorrow, guys, I do apologise. I will fit it in sometime this week. Hopefully it should be resolved, the problem, in 48 hours, I would have thought. But fingers crossed it gets sorted in the next 10 hours or so, just so I can get in there, start getting going, and record the very first episode. But... I'm going to quickly jump over and show you the squad, guys. I've actually changed it up a little bit. The easiest, probably, formation to play, and I want them to go for the diamond. So I've got Danny Ings and Sturridge up top, and bringing Ings in today to give him a bit of a chant. I've then got Lallana at central attack and midfielder. I've then got left of him, Henderson. Right of him, Milner. Behind him, I've got Lucas Leiva. I've then got Gomez, who's coming to the team from Moreno to give him a bit of a chance. Scale, Sacco, and Klein at the back with Mignolet in goal. So basically, because this is a bit of a... Not an easy game, but it's just a kind of pre-season game. I want to try out the new players, so I thought I'll throw Ings in there, I'll throw Gomez. They're not the highest rated players, but I'll throw them in there. And fingers crossed they can play well for me. And also, guys, I just want to say that I already, before I started recording, I've put some of the youngsters on loan, and I have listed only three players to go on the lo on the transfer list, sorry. And that's because I don't want to sell everybody, because I feel that... Some people that I've watched that do career mode, they sell their big players, they earn lots of money, or they join a team that's got lots of money, and they just completely remodel the team. And I don't want that, because although I'm a Liverpool supporter, it doesn't matter if I was at Chelsea, it doesn't matter if I was at Everton, it doesn't matter where I was, it does not matter. I don't want to remodel the team. So when people look at the career, they're like, well, hold on. I've come to watch, let's say, a Chelsea career mode. But there's no Diego Costa, there's no Hazard, there's no Matic, there's no... Courtois. If you sell all your big players and stuff, you just make a new team that wears the same kit as the team you support, but it's not the same team, and that's not what I want to do. So the three players have listed Jose Enrique, because he plays at left back, and personally, guys, I just don't think we need him. And personally, Liverpool in real life don't need him. I've also listed Lovren. Simple reason, I'm buying a new centre back and I don't like him anyway, to be perfectly honest. A lot of people told me to sell Colo Torre. I'm going to keep hold of him. He's, he's at that age now, he's getting old. I want him to retire at Liverpool. I think he's okay as a reserve centre back. So I did say there was three on, on listed, but there's actually not. There's only two. I was going to list Torre, but I've decided not to. And I think, guys, I know a lot of people have been helping me out in the comments and lots of people have been recommending me to get Callum Chambers at right back. I said I wanted to get a right back replacement for Klein. 
but I'm actually unfortunate, guys. I'm going to throw that out the bag. I'm going to get rid of that, but simply for the reason I've got John Flanagan. Now, he's not the best right back, but he's just a backup. That, that's all he is. Klein's the main one, and Flanagan at right back. So there's no point in me putting four or five million into Callum Chambers when I've got Flanagan I can use him. But so far, I think the main ones I'm going to look at is Zuma, Stones, a fella called Ginter, Laporte and Varane. Now, in today's episode, before I even started recording, I've put a bid in for Laporte and Varane. So, fingers crossed that'll come back. Now, although I know their price tag, I don't know the other defender's price tag. So, I'm actually waiting for our main man. I think his name's Divine. He's scouting them at the moment. And he should be coming back in the next week or so. So, then we'll have a better idea of how much these players want in wage and how much we're going to have to offer the team to possibly transfer them to Liverpool. But, nevertheless, guys, if you do enjoy today's episode, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And let's jump into today's game. And hopefully, after last episode, we can manage to pick up the win. Here we go, lads. Hi there again, everybody. It's Deportivo Cali from Colombia versus Liverpool from England. And, here we have the and obviously the last Americas. I think it's held in... It is was it held in Mexico or was it held in Germany? I'm not sure. That I mean, It was held at one of them anyway. But here we go. Let's get off to a good start. And hopefully... It'd be amazing if Danny Ings or Benteke could get themselves a goal today, but let's not rush too much. Let's just pass it round. You know, this game's all about quick passes and moving into space and stuff, so let's just see what we can get in this first half. Good ball over Sacco. Here's Klein. Klein puts it in the middle for Lallana. Lays it off for Henderson. Holds it up. Lays it off for Gomez. Gomez is first touch on the ball. Not a bad one. Play it back up to Gomez. Here's Joe Gomez. Come on, Gomez. Whip a good ball in now. Back post for Daniel Sturridge. No, Sturridge is injured. Oh, and I got a shot off of Lallana. No, please. Please do not tell me Sturridge is injured pre-season. Please, no. Can I get details on his injury? I think he fell on his wrist. I know his trait is injury prone, but surely not. Not three minutes into the game. Looks like Sturridge is going to have to come off for Benteke and hopefully Benteke and Ings will have to have the partnership up there. I can't believe that. Five minutes in, lads. I mean, he went down about the third minute. Let's have a little look at his injury. Is it his wrist? Oh, I think it is. Is it his elbow? Oh, it could be his shoulder. Oh, that's unfortunate. Right, so let's try and whip this in and get a goal from this. Come on, Milner. Nice little ball in. Benteke! Oh, unlucky. Is that going off for a corner again? It is a corner again. Come on, whip it in. Come on, Milner. Nice little ball in again. Skittle! Oh, it's not a bad header. It's gone out for a goal kick that time. Skittle did manage to get his head to it. Come on, Big Ben. Show us what you're made of. In fact, I think it was actually Big Ben that got to that one. Not bad at all. Come on, Ben Tech. Mark him up. Laser off for Henderson. Henderson turns. Put it over for Gomez. Ings stay on side. Beautiful ball up for Ings. Can Ings cut in behind him? Oh, he's just not quick enough. Come on, Ings. Stay on him. Force him back to the keeper. Keep running. Keep running. Nicely done. Plays it through the middle for Henderson. Over for Danny Ings. He's got Gomez on the overlap. This is good, lads. Get a good ball in. Here's Henderson in the middle. Yes, and Jordan Henderson is the first goal scorer in this Liverpool career mode. What a beautiful header that was. I'll tell you what. All players absolutely smashed it then. There must have been like 9 or 10. Constant passes. Brilliant passes. Laid it out to Gomez. Beautiful ball in his left foot. Straight to Jordan Henderson, the captain, and he heads it down and puts it in the back of the net. Well done, Jordan Henderson. What an absolute bullet. Well done. 19 minutes in, ladies and gentlemen, and we have our first goal in this Liverpool career mode. It's about time we scored. We should have scored last game, but we didn't, and we have shown exactly what we can do in this game so far. Even with Daniel Sturridge going out as well. Gomez is doing a decent role at this left-back. He's already got an assist for us. Stay on him. Well done. There he is again. Look at him. He is a beast. Lay it off to Benteke. Come on, Benteke. Hit that. Oh, not bad. James Milner. Oh, saved Danny Ings. Oh, look at that. And they've played it back to keeper. Playing it safe there. Danny Ings was like an assassin ready to pounce on it. Win that. Win it. Well done, Lucas Lever. Laser off. Here we go. We're going through. Come on, Ings. Keep going. What? Oh, okay. One of their players has gone down injured. Fair enough. Technically, though, we were on the run, and I don't know if he should be able to do that. I'm not sure exactly how it works out, but we were on the attack then. I didn't think he could just do that. Go on, make it in. There we go. Play it inside. Yes, go on. This is it. 
Lucas leaving in for Ben Teke! Oh, nearly. Here is Big Ben. Lays it off for Henderson. Go on, Henderson. Lay it off. Oh, tried to just sneak Ings in behind. Ings is a predator, ladies and gentlemen. He just sits on the arm of the defender, waiting for that ball. A pass, and then a press X Baxon to try and cross in, which obviously cancels it out. But nevertheless, it is half time, and we are winning 1 0. And the only bad point to come out of this game so far is Daniel Sturridge picking up an injury already in pre season. That is not good news for us. But on the other hand, we're all looking at a striker at the moment. We've got a few in the bag there. We've got the likes of Lacazette, we've got a Bamiyang. But Danny Ings is doing his job at the moment. That's what you've got to remember. You see, we've got the main men up front, Ben Teke and Sturridge. But we've got Ings to do the job if one of them's out. If someone else is out, we've then got Origi behind him. Now, although I might put Origi on loan, we've also then got next season Balotelli to come back. Now, although he didn't play very well at Liverpool, he's still got a decent growth in this game. He's at the moment 80, I think. I think he can grow to an 84, but we're not going to make any changes. We're going to jump straight back into the second half. And fingers crossed it'll pay off just like the first half. And hopefully we can bag ourselves another goal or two. Big Ben turns, go on, lay it out to him. Here's Nathaniel Klein. Go on, make me a run, lads, please. Go, Klein, go, Klein. Beautiful overlap on the outside. Have we got Danny Ings in the middle? Danny Ings! Oh, no. Danny Ings managed to get to it. Oh, transfer confirmed. 34.5 million to Man United from FC Bayern. That wasn't the actual price in there, I think he only went for 6 or 7 million, not 34.5, but I suppose it's a game. But Danny Ings, you had a chance then, your heading's not on point, but that's okay. You've, uh, you've done well so far, so I've got no complaints. Go on, whip it in for Danny Ings, maybe in the middle, Danny Ings! Oh, at least he's got his head on target this time, and it was looping over the keeper, but he managed to jump for it, win that. Good tackle. Joe Gomez is unbelievable. Absolutely insane player. Win that, Sacco. No, no! Oh, man! He shouldn't have that much space, lads. Mark him up, please. No. Get it out! Oh, now I've given away a free kick on the edge of the box. Oh, damn. Slid in with Skittle. I didn't think I caught the ball or the play, but it must... Oh! <gasps> Are you joking me? A red card for Martin Skittle? Oh, man, let me see this replay again. You must be having a laugh. Oh, no, I'm going to get a replay. Right, first thing I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to have to change the formation up. And I think the best option for me... Ah, I don't really want to get rid of Lucas Levy, he's playing well, but I'm going to have to take Lucas Lever off. Oh no, we're not going to have to bring on Lovren, are we? Looks like we're going to have to bring on Lovren, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we need a backup centre-back, because that is probably not going to be the best move we could have done. I'm just debating whether I want to give someone else a bit of a chance on here. I think I might actually bring Alan on for Milner. He's played well, Milner. But I want to kind of keep changing up the team while we're in this pre-season. Give everyone a bit of a chance on the pitch. But that was unfortunate by Martin Scale. I'll have to have a look when I'm editing this video what it was like. I really didn't think it was that bad to be fair, for you honest. But never mind. Come on, Klein. Let me get someone a bit taller. Not Alan, though. Oh, I've picked Alan. No. Well done, Alan. Alan comes on and clears one straight off the line. Happy days. Come on, Big Ben. Well done. Lay it off to him. Here's Lallana. Here's Benteke on the outside. I hope he's onside. Our fingers crossed he's onside. Come on, Big Ben. Keep going. Lay it across. Lallana. Oh, man. I tried to sweat it. No. Oh, well done, Klein. Well done, indeed. Lay it off. Go, 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 go. Come on, Danny Ings. Come on, Ings. Is this going to be your first goal? Danny Ings makes it two in the 83rd minute. You know what, lads? And ladies... He deserved the goal. He has played absolutely amazing. That little one-two pass from Lallana. Beautiful goal. What can I say? Well done, Danny Ings. Look at that. Nice little finesse. Bottom right corner. Tucked it away past the keeper. And we are 2-0 up against Deportivo. Here's Joe Allen. Joe Allen. Joe Allen's running through them. Hit that Allen. Oh, he's in the post. And Joe Allen's in the post. That is mental. Oh, I don't believe that. That was not a bad shot at all from the main man, Joe Allen. As uh, Brendan Rodgers said, the Welsh Javi. I don't think he's that like, but that wasn't a bad shot. Lay it off, Allen. Oh, what a beautiful ball. That would have been to Ben Teke. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Referee blows for 90 minutes. And we have managed to win our second game in this series, 2-0. And I'm telling you now, I will be surprised if Gomez or Ings has not got man of the match. Because one of them definitely deserves it. Let's have a quick look. 
And there we go, as I did say, Joe Gomez picking up man of the match with a huge 8.5. What a man, look at the stats. The Portivo Cali had three shots, two on target, against our nine with seven on target. That is what I'm talking about. That was a brilliant, excellent Liverpool squad that I picked there, it really was. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is our second game. We have now currently moved up to second position, played two, three points, joined with River Plate. Hopefully in our next game, we are against River Plate. So if we can manage to pick up the win or even get a draw, it's all probably going to come down to goal difference. And I think after picking up that 2-0 there. But nevertheless, guys, if you have enjoyed today's episode, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I'm just going to quickly read these emails, see if anything's come back. Player suspended, Skatler's out for two matches. That is absolutely shocking. So we're going to struggle without him in it. No! Daniel Sturridge has suffered a broken collarbone and will be out for about three months. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Daniel Sturridge is out for three months. We've only had two games. That is shocking. I cannot believe that whatsoever. But nevertheless, guys, I'm just going to quickly actually advance in a little bit of time all the way to match day just to see if I hear back about any of the transfers. Do you know what, guys? He is a player that I will not... I will be rejecting all offers and disallowing all future offers. I don't want to sell them. It's as simple as that. Lallana is not making his way out of the club. He played really well there. And although when we got Coutinho and Firmino in that position, maybe we can play two attacking midfielders or something. But Real Madrid have said that the offer for Rafael Varane is not enough. They won 27.5 million. So we'll go back in for him. I think I offered, there we go, 17. I will boost that up to 19 and submit that offer. I might even offer Lovren in one of these deals. And also I went in for Thiago from FC Bayern. I realised that they've got a few players now. They've just bought Vidal, so I thought I might get Thiago on the bit of a cheap. So he offered 18. They've come back and said 41. I'll bump this up for 22. And that's just because, guys, I'm still trying to find that Gerard replacement. Now, there is one player that everyone is telling me will replace him very nicely. And that is a fella called... Yuri Thielmans. Now we have had him on the old channel in a previous career mode and he was absolutely amazing. His free kicks, if anyone remembers his free kicks, were on point all the time. But I'm not really sure. I'm still looking for that Gerard replacement. Brendan Rodgers didn't do it, so I am doing it instead. And we've also had the final report on Serge Ayora. Let's have a quick look. He is valued at 11.5 million. Obviously, he's the right back, but I have said that I'm not sure if I'm going in for the right back, considering we got Klein as the main man, and then we got Flanagan as a backup. And if Flanagan plays anything like Joe Gomez did, I'll be a very happy manager. But nevertheless, guys, advance one more day. I don't know if we're going to hear anything back. And PSG have accepted 36.5 million for Verratti. That is absolutely insane. I've let's go. Bill Bauer did say I went in for Laporte. They are offering, or they have set a 36 million pound price tag for Laporte. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. There is no chance. And also, guys, here's one of the players that I thought would be a perfect Gerard replacement. Yaya Torre from Manchester City, and I offered 20 million. They've come back and said 31. Let's bump this up to 24 and see what they say. We're not going to see in today's episode, guys. So make sure you tune in next episode to see all our transfers, see who's going in, see who's going out. And we have received an offer for Dejan Lovren. So I will go ahead and boost this up and ask them, will they offer me or will they give me the transfer offer of 10 million? He's valued at 7.5. His form's okay. He's unhappy. I'm unhappy that he's at the club. So let's go ahead and ask Southampton if they will pay the price of 10 million for him. To be honest, we should be paying Southampton to take Lovren off our hands. And he's going back to his old club. So fingers crossed, they might want to pay a bit of extra money for him to get him back. But if you have enjoyed today's episode, guys, smash that thumbs up for me. Drop your comments down below. If you are new around here, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. I have been Massive Brad. Peace out.